everybody, Keith Hilson at the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop, and I'm here today with... Alex. Alex at the Trombone Shop as well here. So, one of the things that you may be familiar with from our work in the Trombone Shop is that we are developing our own line of instruments, working directly with the manufacturer with under our Lake City line here. A few of you may know of it as, as custom before we, you know, kind of changed the branding a few years ago. So, one of the first instruments that we started off with this project on was Elto. Um, so our, our ATB uh, 415 Alto uh, was really designed as kind of an entry level instrument here. Something that we you know, wanted to have a, you know, a really great accessible Alto for somebody, whether they're just getting started on learning Alto, if they need to have a really great backup instrument. And the response with the Lake City Alto was really, really great. But of course, we're not just happy with great, we want to be getting better than that. And so we're always working with our, our manufacturing partner on trying to look at new options, you know, trying to continually tweaking our offerings with the instruments. And we just got a brand new kind of tweaked prototype here, uh, trying a few different little design features from our current Alto. And so Alex is going to take a little bit of play on both here, and we're going to kind of talk about what we're hearing and feeling. So this is like our current uh, Lake City Alto here, the current ATB 415. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, got it. Well, let's put in, before we talk about the two here, let's yep. put the new one into the mix here. Um, now, both of these are yellow brass bells, uh, nickel silver hand slides. Um, with our, our prototype here, the next gen prototype, that has all nickel silver, including nickel silver truck, with our current design that has nickel silver tubes with a yellow brass crook here. So, this is the new design here. Okay, well, let's hear this in action. Okay, got it. So initial reaction, Alex, what do you hear and feeling? Yeah, so the biggest things that I noticed between the two instruments, um, first of all, the kind of range that you're playing in on an alto is much higher. Um, so you want to have that kind of bright, clear, focused sound is, is what you're generally looking for when you're trying to find an alto. Compared to the, um, the original model, um, our prototype we're finding is a little bit easier in the higher register to, uh, to get it slotted where everything needs to sit everything feels a little bit easier to play as well as it it just feels a little bit brighter um a little bit warmer as well um, got it. and that's an interesting combination right brighter and warmer but i think i know what you mean there there's a there's a different kind of projection yes. with this to me as a listener right off the bat there it, it seems a little bit more open did you, did you notice that on the playing end yeah it, it for me it's it's there it's it's such a subtle difference right so the, the main things that I notice with, with the, the lower register are not, uh, the, the, this, this is a little bit more open, so it, it, it makes some of the lower register on an alto a little bit more, uh, a little bit different color, um, but the upper register feels like it slots a lot more uh, accurately for what you're expecting a trombone, uh, an alto trombone to do. Um, so I find that it's definitely um, a little bit more open in that sense, where in the upper register it gets more um, more frequency, more overtone in the in the upper register for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing I know is playing these instruments here is that you know compared to uh, you know our current uh, four fifteen here, this one seemed to have a little bit more mass. I mean, I think in the sound, but just the weight of it itself, it does seem that I think they've been playing around with the metallurgy, trying a little bit different gauging materials here to see if that does make a difference in you know how the instrument plays. Do you think the you know the weight's making a difference at all, or what did you hear? A absolutely, yeah. So um, there's there's something really natural that happens when you when you pick up an instrument where you can kind of feel the artistry 
that goes into making it. When, when um, something is is cared for, you you pick it up and you feel it. Is is what I'm 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 intending to say here. Um, and that was something that when I um, when I first played these, so I, I got a quick warm up on these today and, and forgot to mention it, but um, the uh, the weight is is placed differently on on this instrument in terms of how you pick it up, how the slide feels to hold it. So some of that where the weight is placed it does have a big effect on um, on how the actual instrument plays as well. And those are things that are harder to attribute to, like he mentioned the the nickel slide and things like that. Those sometimes make more of a, a noticeable difference. Whereas things like the, the subtle differences in how they actually build the instrument, how it's shaped, where the taper happens, those things are much more subtle and hard to trace between the two models. Yeah. But they do make a difference in the sound. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, I, I, I'm i really excited uh, about this. And, and who knows here, as we go through, part of this process is we're always getting feedback from folks. We're going to get this into the hands of other players as well and see, is this an improvement? Are there things we need to continue looking at here? But again, I think it's exciting. I and we I, I love to share kind of what this process is looking like for us and kind of, you know, some of the things that we're working on, you know, on a daily basis in an effort to try to make sure that we have the best options possible for you, our customers. So, got it. So from um, Alex here in the Trombone Shop and Keith in the Trombone Shop, hope you enjoy this little behind the scenes video here. As always, you can check out our channel for all of our other videos, whether it's reviews, whether it's other discussions. Um, you know, take a look. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to our channel, hitting that notification button and checking us out on all of the other social media platforms as well. So thanks as always, everybody.